Hello, my name is Lorenzo, and in this video, I'll show you how to create an event that has a required pricing option as well as an optional add on. Okay, so let's get started. I'll go ahead and add in some details and then let's go ahead and review them. So, for this example, we're going to say that we're creating a personal finance seminar which has a registration fee as well as an optional add on for a book. We have the date set for August 4th from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. and then the pricing will be $1.99 for the seminar and an optional book for $17 bucks. and for the seminar itself we're going to limit this to 15 guests. Okay, So I'll go ahead and start updating the event details so we can enter this in as personal finance seminar. All right. And then I'm going to scroll down and start working on the event details. So we know that the event takes place from August 4th from 1 to 3 p.m. So I'll go ahead and update that. So I'll go to August, select the 4th, and then adjust the time to 1. And then we need to set the end time. So it's already on August 4th, so we just need to move it back till 3 p.m. Okay? So that's good. So right now we've covered the seminar itself, but we want to add a date time for the book. So what I'll do is I'll just duplicate this, and then I will actually add some context for each of these date times. So we can say seminar here for the first one, and then book for the second one. And next we can take a look at the registration uh, pricing options, okay? So let's go ahead and update this to registration fee. And we want to sell this up until the day before so that we have a chance to get ready for our seminar. And we know that the pricing will be set for $1.99 and we want to limit this up to 15 guests, okay? So the next thing that I want to do is to actually create a separate pricing option for the book. Remember that we want to accept up to 15 guests, but the book itself is a separate registration fee. So what I'll do is I'll duplicate this and then I'll say book for that and then I'll adjust the pricing from $1.99 to $17 and then remove the limit. So that is we want to open this up so that a guest can purchase multiple books if they want. Okay. All right. So the next thing that we're actually going to do is to adjust the matching between the date times and then the pricing options. So what I'll do is I'll click on this gear icon and double check and see what, what it's connected to. So for the seminar right now, it's connected to the book and we want to actually disconnect that and then close. And then we want to go to the book option and disconnect the registration fee and then close. So you may be asking why I set it up this way. Well, the thing to remember is that we want to set a limit of 15 guests. However, if we count the limits when guests are purchasing book under the same date time, then what will happen is that we will hit our quantity limit too soon, okay? So we've set this up separately so that each guest that registers will, will be taken in under the seminar date time, and then the book date time will be handling the pricing for the book. So I hope that makes sense. Basically what we don't want is for each guest to pick up a book and then the registration fee which will artificially um, knock down the quantity. All right, so the final step for here is to actually adjust the registration fee and set that to be required. So I clicked on the gear icon and then I'm gonna select this option for required. And from here I will scroll up and then click on save draft. And then let's take a look at this event on the front end. All right, so now you can see that we have our event details here. So this is a seminar, the registration fees required, the book itself is optional, and then we have a date time as well as a uh, date time for the seminar and a date time for the book. And remember, we set it up this way because we don't want book purchases to be counted as a guest. So the final step would actually be to take a look at this event and update the event details such as adding the description and venue and then of course publishing it. So I hope you found this video helpful and thanks for looking.